Now, I made myself back to the dance script because, well, you can replay levels and all that. Get all, get all, get some of the goodies that they that the old stages had, like a little bit of gold, 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 gold again, instead of your sword, your sword and all that. But there's also a, a nice little change of a color in the stone in he, in here except that it doesn't really when you get that close it doesn't uh, stick into your eye but once you are uh, here it's blatantly different but now it is different in the original one there was similar case but in this one it's a bit more subtle but i can break this wall and find some extra gold and a life bottle again just as a little little matter of secrets that you that uh, the game has so yeah sometimes you you can't get all the all the stuff from the stage without some other weapon or tool you might get later but it's much more in the beginning of the game is that kind of case that kind of case that kind of things so let's just prepare to enter the hilltop mausoleum you could say the first actually complex stage of the game which has different objectives and puzzles in it and it's a really big place to be a mausoleum and it sounds you evil are entering a house of pain Rumors abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. Well, they, it is not so secret because, well, all that imps. The most annoying enemies in this game. And they're dangerous. At least some of them are. Because they can steal your stuff. So it's time to do some quick swinging and slay them all. They must have been one of those demon things that Zarek did summon as well. And there's a bi big central room with all kinds of things in here. So let's just bring out the club. And the uh, swinging action of the of dance club feels a bit sl lower in this one compared to the original one. Charge attack. But I, I do say that the level of difficulty of this game is generally quite gentle. It's not extremely ungentle, but it's not very really gent It is not completely gentle either, so it's a So it's a you could say a bit wobbly. And there's a little bit of change feels to be changes in the how the how, how the basic architecture of the level behaves. Like in the original one, you could just simply walk right through these uh, spikes, but in this one, they bump hit you back, they, they bump you back. Now, let's just take this room and get the uh, out, out of here. And I uh, do the oh yeah. do I get the souls from the dying going to the falling floor? Didn't didn't see. Yeah, one smack from the club and the and those imps go down hard. Which is you could say and. And that thing was exactly stole my club, but I managed to kill it before it ran away. Because if you if he would have ran away, then I then I would have had to buy 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 my, the club again. But then again, clubs can be found from various places, so it would have been 
not so necessary. And the moon rune is over here. So going little 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 circle around the place to get get around to get to the other this location with the moon rune and some other goodies as well. Like the fact that I can now get the chalice, get the life bottle, get some mu music musics. Oh yeah, the spikes are uh, blown apart by the floor, floor collapsing and they've kept the original ones bit some, something like a stiff camera work that you can't actually always move it around. Which is, well, it's not the perfect solution to problems, but it, it's quite functional. So, but let's just go to this room and there's a and there's a go ghost wanting to play music but I have a music book <laughs> and he's playing open up the chalice with a hall of heroes and that and that of course gave me a chance to get a bit f different further in the in the game and dance design of course in the in this remake it isn't much of difficult di di actually it, it's completely the same as the, the original one except of course metal armor he wears actually is looks very metal armor with shine and all that and of course little puzzle open up the heart let's warm it up something has awakened in in the room with a paint stained glass window of demon so let's just go and now say hello to it and the music turned also much more grand this is of course the first boss fight Yeah, he, he doesn't look particularly friendly. But what he does, he throws these shards of stained glass at you. Tries to stomp on, stomp. Now he loads up, he loads up the big attack, which I can actually use to attack him as, instead as well. Yeah, it's 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 much it's quite quite tank tanking fight. He tries to stomp you, and I do say that the original one with, with a camera angle was much more above and further. Made this ba battle feel a bit easier. Yeah, you keep jumping around. Or stomping, trying to stop me. It ain't particularly smart. And as long as it's keep, it's not showing its heart, it's invincible. So, so now it dies. Yep. The. 
But there's a big difference to the original one. That the original one you couldn't you couldn't do anything in the stage after you you had defeated the stained glass demon. But in this one you can. So, but it's it's a it's a it's a little bit of convenience to the uh, for the player, but not really that much. I I it, it might I think it has something to do with rem memory retention and all that kind of things. But it, it's still quite a small thing. So let's just leave impressively through the window instead of doors. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. All right, Get, getting going. And here's another hero to ah, chat. Fortescue, what's this I hear about that archcad Zarok still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> Nonsense, Fortescue! I won't take no for an answer! Knock a few heads for old stand your iron hewer, eh? Oh yeah, hammer is very serviceable weapon in this game. But you... You can... You have charge attack and... Smack around. And it doesn't hit as fast as in the original one. You, in the original one you could do much faster faster paced smacking around with it so there's a bit change with the weapon how they handle but this hammer the hammer basically replaces the small sword as, as the primary smashing of things so it's a new stage called return to the graveyard because that's what it is return to the graveyard not just a graveyard, but the reverse return to the graveyard level, which is different than the graveyard stage. Because in graveyard I went forwards in it, and in return to graveyard I come backwards and take a little, take a left turn at the Albuquerque. So there's, it's a complete different stage with, our own, with its own chalice and all that. And some more zombies as well. And a uh, coffin that I jumped on. Yeah, it's a little bit of a secret here. And I do say that this game, in a sense, is one, is one of the more difficult ones. Because, uh, well, Dan, in a sense, is not a platforming hero. But there was a life bottle and some extra goodies. And that's what that's that in the original one that was even more harder because ha ha even more difficult to judge locations. But then again, dance back to the graveyard. They're still undead in here, and he's still and he's gonna smash them. Green green goose running about. So, do, using the hammer's big smash attack is actually quite sa quite reasonable because it, it has the area of effect, meaning that you can just smash around. And I also broke the hand. Breaking hand gives you one one gold piece, and money isn't that important in this game, unless of course you get your really big fancy sword stolen from you and then you have to fork up cash for the merchant gargoyles to get it back 
which is really, really, really unpleasant thing to ha have happen to you. Especially, and especially if it's one of the end game really good weapons, like the magical sword. The game has three swords: short sword, big sword, and a magical sword. And if you, if you lose your magical sword, it sucks. You're losing a lot of money trying to get it back. And of course, there's also three tiers of shield. Copper, silver and gold. And gold can be fixed. But, and of course gold takes the more of them. But all, even in practical sense, best material sh for shield from those three metals would be copper. Not only because of its price, but, it, but it because of its weight and physical properties. And of course the av 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 general availability as well. So yeah, you, you, would, you would want actually a good weapon you would or good shield you would take copper but that's the and of course even if it was bronze it would be even better but it's it follows uh, that classic video game styling that that go gold is better than copper or silver even though in actual reality not necessarily. Gold is superior in specific adapt uses, like if you need something very, very corrosion proof. But in this case, not so. For weapons and tools, gold is not good stuff. But for something which has to endure corrosion and corrosive conditions, gold is good choice. In that sense. Yeah, that's that's the science scientific le lecture in, lecture about video game design. What, what what was the actual point of this? Uh, there was no point in this. But let's fill the life bottle again. Some of these stages are something that you just want to get through them as fast as they, uh, as efficiently as you can because they can be. Some of these stages do get real hard. There are wolves around here running around. So let's just smash them apart with hammers. There's lots of things in this game that are, and it's a, oh, it's a nice little detail that how, how the where the you could say souls get going when they when you are handling them. Oh yeah, yeah. The use of the hammer feels fun. Oh damn, I forgot that. It's in the top of this build, top of here. Fenced in area, not difficult to find. But for some reason it was for me. Because I ain't always so sharp. Tool of the shed. But yeah, they take that. G give, give me some uh, juice. Uh, and that's a un un non functional chalice. And th th no, I just noticed that thing doesn't have any head. And it's quite. It's got quite burly build as well. But. Couple of good swing hammer blows, hammer blow to the head should deal the matter quite nicely. That one as well, and give me the chal challenge to be filled, which is right here. Give me that. Generally, you could say that. Whoop. Generally, you can say that the difficulty is not extremely high. It it occasionally gets high that in if you want to get all the secrets and all that stuff difficulty can get high but in general in diff in not that sense in sense of just getting through the game difficulty is moderate it is not a particular it's not particularly high but it's not particularly low either they are actu actually actually chal quite challenging phases in this game Mostly in for involving platforming, 
and there's a ooh there's run really nasty of stage about that platforming may and 3d is not great and when you add a character who is not a platform character doing the platforming it's gonna get really nasty because even that little jump was a bit of nerve-wracking but there's a new boss fight The Guardians of the Graveyard. Oh yeah, Dan for the skew. He was a he was basically when he was living he was you know tall, dark, handsome, told tall tales and all that. Did and all that and uh, and in the actual backstory of the original game it was something like the Zarek was basically a court mage of the king and uh, Dan Fortescue was the champion and of course all, th all that kind of things oh yeah this is a bit of you could say one of those boss fights that That it's just more favorable to just use the brute force and smash them instead of doing some fancy maneuverings. And with by get and defeating the wolves, there's the dash, daring Dan. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Oh yeah, the lip sync was off with that one. And yeah, I really think that they did get new uh, vo voice actings for these for practically every everybody. In addition to graphics, but you can say that despite Dan being a, a bit of cowardly, a braggart, he still has his heart in the right place because now he must become a hero. He really wants to be a hero, and he now has a chance to be so. It took hundred years of being dead, but he now become he wants to make himself a true hero, and the re true heroes already see that he has a chance for it. So yeah. So they are helping him. They are not accepting. Uh, they are not doing his heroics for him, but they are helping him. Oh yeah, and the gargoyle does have a d different. Do get different lines about here. Uh, so let's have a chat with Stanier again. Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack by now, but I knew you'd pull through. Yeah, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Yeah, just just a little streamlining, but getting just money is a bit of a disappointment because money in this game isn't so important. So let's just leave the Hall of Heroes now. Uh, and the ju and but the name of this game is, cop. You could say it's quite misleading. Yeah, it's basically medieval, but uh, me medieval is the pun pun version of it. But it it doesn't really uh, make it much different. And now the game adds the branching paths. There's the enchanted earth, and scarecrow fields, which both lead to different parts of the game. So it's time to end this second episode and continue next time. I'm gonna do about one fifth of the game, assuming it goes with a speed of two stages per game level. But that might that, but that's just a completely different thing. So see you next time. See ya.